sailing and definitely one of my favourite parts of the world. Yeah. This is a song with a, a local story, really. We, 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 these days, when I'm there, we live in a little village called Clifton. And uh, in our, almost in our back garden, are 12 members of the McPherson clan planted by the English. <laughs> In the day when the national sport of England was going around the world, stealing people's land and <laughs> burning their houses, and some things don't change. <laughs> uh, and uh, this, this is this was written. I mean, Robbie was a bit of a boy, wasn't he? He used to hang around in these parts. Didn't he? Had a way with words. He had a way with women, apparently, as well. Fond of the port. <laughs> Bit of a rake, I think, <laughs> Scottish name. Anyway, this is written by a, a, about a, a young man who finds himself in the uh, confines of Carlisle Castle, which I found out recently is a true story because the Macphersons were buried in our back garden with the lucky ones. <coughs> because the rest of the Macphersons were taken up the road to Carlisle Castle and were summarily hung, drawn, and quartered. Which I imagine not to be a good way to depart the planet. <laughs> so this is a song about one Macpherson who's in the back garden and the other Macpherson who's in the castle, Carlisle Castle. <laughs> Shines bright on the gloaming where me and my true love will never meet again. On the bonny, bonny banks of luck, go Yeah. 